all your help. Also, we have some visitors that travel a tremendous distance to be with us tonight. And uh, I'm not talking about this section of my friends from LA that think Orange County is a different country. <laughs> so, uh, but the, uh, I'd like to thank Jack Schultz. Thank you very much, our, uh, our major steel supplier that came into town from Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. And then my brother and sister-in-law, Jeff and Emily Harrow, who made the trip from Baltimore. And my niece and nephew, Dylan and Hayden. Anyways, so today's a really a very special day for our family and, and truly a day I will never forget. Uh, as many of you know, Hollywood Bed is a third generation family-owned business that my grandparents, Irving and Hannah, started. And our company has really come a long way from my grandfather making bed frames by hand with a hammer, loading the bed frames in a station wagon and driving around to Los Angeles area furniture stores trying to hawk some bed frames. <laughs> anyway, and I know that uh, my grandparents would be very proud of this honor today and uh, we're thrilled about that. Dad, the last 16 years has been an incredible experience growing Hollywood Bed together. You're an amazing role model, mentor, business partner, and so happy that we're able to share this honor together tonight. Yeah, I'm so grateful to be an honoree tonight, and the reason I feel that way is it's rare in life that a person gets to surround himself with you know, all the people that has been involved in your life for many, many years, and that includes my family, my beautiful wife Courtney, my brother, my in-laws who are here, my team at Hollywood Bed, who frankly are just the best group of people, and I can't thank you guys enough for everything you do every day, the hard work that uh, you do every day. Thank you. But, you know, I have friends here from all stages of my life, from nursery school to some tennis team high school buddies, my some of my golf buddies, customers, vendors, competitors, um, competitors. That's okay. I don't know. If you're buying from them, come talk to me. I'll make a change. <laughs> um, you know, and even you know, professionals, my bankers, even the real estate broker I used to buy my first house, and. It's rare that anyone in life gets to be involved in an event with every person in all stages of their life with the goal to raise money for an amazing charity and that being the city of home. And your participation today is really helping people like Jalen, who we heard earlier from tonight, and his story really epitomizes what the city of hope is all about. You know, last week I had lunch with Jalen and his father Francis, and Francis really, you know, put it right. The City of Hope, and I'm going to quote him, the City of Hope treats families, uh, not just patients. And life-threatening diseases can be a very scary place for not only the patient, but for the family, and the City of Hope takes pride in caring in a nurturing way both the patient and the patient's family. And one other thing, Jalen, I was excited to hear tonight that you uh, threw that last pitch and uh, won the game for your team, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you in a year when you've knocked this cancer out. In addition to treating patients and their families, the researchers at the City of Hope work tirelessly to find cures to life-threatening diseases. The City of Hope is a leader in research, and many, as many of you know they're responsible for the discovery of the bone marrow transplant, which revolutionized medicine. And currently they're working on research to cure cancer, diabetes, and HIV AIDS. And I would encourage anyone that has not been to the City of Hope campus to take the time and take a tour because it's truly a remarkable place. And uh, I thank all of you for participating in today's event. 
You helped get this world to be one step closer to a world without cancer, without diabetes, and without HIV AIDS, and I thank you all very, very much.